with the uh, current versions of 795 and 797, we you know are pretty comfortable with that. But you know, with the upcoming changes, I'm concerned with how those agencies will uh, do their inspections. So I needed I needed some decent explanation and some in depth. Uh, real world how it's going to affect us. So that's what I, you know, other than just reading those chapters, I needed, I needed someone to ping ideas off of. Their, their knowledge is unmatched and how they benefit my business. It's like I just want to take them home with me and, and employ them because <laughs> then I know everything will be done right. Even though I, I consider myself a seasoned compounder, uh, the hands-on with this USP course really helped me understand better the flow in these types of powder hoods and the, the cross-contamination that still can occur that just because you're in a powder containment hood doesn't mean you're free and clear of cross-contamination. So uh, being in the hood here with someone to come behind me and slap my hand or knock me on the shoulder to let me know that that's not quite right was something I, need, I needed to know that. I needed to hear it and, and experience it so that I can take that back home with me. So for those who are considering taking the USP course, I urge, urge them all to come. Bring as many staff members as you can afford to bring. Uh, you know, because you can sit around in your conference room back at your, back at your office and, and read through USP together, but you're not going to get that interaction with other people who may have different ideas and how, how you can document things differently. Um, so the fact that if, if you can come and you bring your staff, it just makes it that much easier once you get back home.